Hey everyone, it's John here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you three hidden Excel functions. So you might know one of them, but I guarantee you're not gonna know all three. Let's take a look. The first hidden function we're gonna take a look at is the date diff function. So this is a more well-known hidden function in Excel. And it's going to allow us to calculate the difference between two dates in either years, months, or days. And the reason this was deprecated is because it does have problems with one of the calculations. So specifically when calculating the difference in days and ignoring the months and years, that can result in errors. But you can still use this. And if you try and find this in IntelliSense, you're not going to. So it was hidden. But if you complete the function signature, then you can see that it is still a function. So we get this little pop-up here of our argument signature. So normally this will show what arguments a function needs, but here it's empty. So we just need to know how to use the date to function. So it's going to take a start date and an end date, and then the units that you want to return. And when you press enter, you get the difference between those two dates in the given units. So this function is still usable and it's quite commonly used. You just need to be aware of its limitations with respect to this unit. The next hidden function we're gonna take a look at is the single function. So this one was introduced at the same time as dynamic arrays were introduced into Excel as Excel needed a way to produce the same results as it did before dynamic arrays. So now with dynamic arrays, if you reference a range and press enter, it's going to spill that range. Now before that would not have happened, it would have just produced the first value here. And so with the single function, we can now get back to the previous version of Excel results. And when we press enter, we now just get a single value. Now, although we can use the single function, you can see that Excel automatically converts it to this at operator. So when dynamic arrays were first released, they released them with the single function, but then later changed this to the at operator to allow us to get back to the non-dynamic array version of Excel. And this way we can use implicit intersection to return just a single value. So this one you're also not going to find in the IntelliSense, but if you complete the function signature, then we do get the argument signature here. So here you can see the single function takes a single argument. And then Excel is going to automatically convert that into the at operator. The last hidden function we're gonna take a look at is the anchor array function. So you've probably already used this without knowing. And this was also introduced when dynamic arrays were introduced. So here we've got a dynamic array. And if we wanna reference this, then we just need to reference the first cell in that dynamic array and then add on the hash operator. And that's going to reference the entire dynamic array for us. And that reference is gonna grow or shrink based on the dynamic array. So if we change our original dynamic array, our reference is going to update as well. Now it turns out that this hash operator here is actually just a syntax for the anchor array function. Now, just like the previous hidden functions, if we complete the function signature, then we're gonna get this 
argument signature. And here it's empty, just like the date diff function. But this time, if we try and use this function, then we're gonna get this message here. So Excel is going to try and correct this. And even if we don't accept their correction, then we're gonna get this pop up that there's an error in the formula and we're not gonna be able to enter this formula. So unlike the single function, the anchor array function was never surfaced as a usable function in Excel. And so you can't use it, but you can also see it in another place. So Excel is going to automatically create named ranges for some of the newer functions so that if you open the file in a previous version of Excel that doesn't have those functions, then it's going to recognize them as functions even though it won't calculate them as such. And these named ranges are hidden, so if you go to the name manager, you're not gonna see them here. So you can use something like VBA or Office Scripts to show all those hidden names. So here I've got an Office Script to unhide names. And if we take a look, we can see that all it's doing is setting our named items to visible. And let's just run that. And go back to our name manager. And then we're gonna see various names here that were previously hidden. So here I'm using a sequence function to generate this array. And here we've got this name xlfn.sequence. And similarly, I'm using the hash operator to spill my array and reference it. And here, because of that, we've got this anchor array name. So these names are automatically generated just to help Excel manage opening this file in a previous version of Excel. But just further evidence that this anchor array function exists, we just can't use it. So there you have it. Those are the three hidden functions that I know about in Excel. Let me know in the comments, do you know any others? Also, let me know in the comments how many of these did you know? And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and subscribe for future Excel videos like this one. And we'll see you in the next video.